Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I'm outside with a lot of the things that I harvested. I still have more to go. And isn't she beautiful? That was the big gigantic sunflower that was over there. It just got cut down yesterday. Yes. So today is going to be garden tour week nine and it's busy. Completely grateful for all the stuff that just keeps coming in. Um, I will go through maybe some of the stuff and show you uh, what I harvested, but let's take a look around. Uh, basil still hanging on, it's not too bad. Swiss chard, planted spinach in there and lettuce in there, and a couple of radishes in there. Strawberries are good. The basic things I've shown you like a million times up there are doing fine. Herbs are doing good. I have to start harvesting them. And does anyone know, how do you do pineapple sage? Do you cut it all the way down and it'll come back every year? Or do you just rip the whole thing out, dehydrate it? So that is going to be uh, my next thing to put in my dehydrator, which, speaking of dehydrator, the top of the lid looks like it might be a factory defect. Um, it kind of melted my lid a little bit. So we contact Amazon and hopefully they get back to us because I really like that dehydrator. It's my fave. This basil's hanging on. I'm most likely just gonna rip the rest of it out and just blend it in the Ninja and either freeze it or maybe make one more jar of um, basil pesto. Now, look at this. Didn't think I was gonna get any. This is the Tabasco pepper. It's finally starting to sprout some peppers. Worst case scenario. I will be taken in the house for the winter because I waited a long time for that. Uh, this is the green pepper plant. As you can see, there's more peppers on here. So, hopefully, get some more out of that. The herbs. Um, this was the sage that I transplanted. Mm, not dead. Not looking great. Still alive from the stirstrom. This is the lemon balm, which I also have to do that. Dehydrate it. That was the baby parsley, which is looking fantastic. Uh, the mint, doing great. So everything back here is doing pretty good. Uh, that's my brand new blue umbrella, which my red one out back got ripped up from the storm. And my friend got me a blue one. So it looks like it might storm here today. So I didn't want to take any chances. So I took it out because I don't want it to blow off. Spider plants up there are doing well. Delilah's bouncing back a little bit. I have some fall seeds started. And yeah. So that is this section over here. Week tour nine. Who knew? And yes, I'm still doing it from my phone. This is the other Tabasco pepper. It's obviously looking dry, uh, but it does have some little bugs on it. So I will give that some water. That's the other basil behind there. I'm gonna just finish, you know, uh, taking it all out. And let's pick some of these golden teardrop pear tomatoes which have these splits in them which i'm not really sure if that's from the rain or not but these are so sweet and delicious there's still more to pick should have brought out an empty bowl because i am pretty packed uh let's see what else yeah i'll come back and pick them uh the head on the sunflower, this is why my chives are flattened. The head was literally laying on top of it. So I have to harvest some of the chives, put them in the dehydrator, 
and the herbs. As I stated before, I will be leaving the sage out, the thyme out, the rosemary, and I just noticed parsley completely disappeared. So I'm assuming a caterpillar ate my parsley that was doing, f oh, there's the culprit. I knew it. Let's pull this down. I can show you. See if you can see him. There he is. He literally ate a whole pot of parsley and now I'm going to have to get him out. So that was very disappointing. And there he is. That's the culprit that literally ate a whole basket of celery in less than a day. I saw one not that long ago on this one. So now I think it's that time of year to really be checking your parsley because they seem to love it. And yeah, so I might, oh, and we found another, where to go? I told you it'd be a little bit of a different video today. So let's see, we will give him, oops, we just missed. We will give him that piece of parsley. Yep. They are destroying my parsley. So I'm gonna have to do a full inspection now every day to make sure there's not a caterpillar. Let me go through this and double check again because he was pretty blended in there. Yeah. Definitely gonna have to check the parsley every day start harvesting some of it because so I don't want the caterpillars to get to it. The last one I found was on here and he was eating away. I think I got him in the nick of time. So I'm not really sure now if this will bounce back. No clue. But I will cut off some of the dead. Put that back up there. And um, yeah. So for now, they can hang out over here and eat the rest of this parsley up all they want. They just can't have my good parsley. Okay, let's keep going. Um, oregano. I'm really surprised by that. I can't believe how fast they chomped that. Okay. So, check your parsley, everybody, because caterpillars, which I'm sure they turn into monarchs, are out for your parsley. Okay, not too much has changed here, except I did rip right in here. There was a kale, I ripped it out. This is rabbit pellets that I'm going to put out. I was out here earlier cleaning up. I'm going to take some of these off, make some kale chips. That's what I've decided. Mystery plant is trying to survive under there, getting all chewed up. And I did use the bug treatment. That's some extra kale. And zinnias galore. Um, I've already picked the eggplants. They're in the basket. Very odd because there was an eggplant that was solid yesterday and today it was mushy. So I took it off and disposed of it. Um, more zinnias, the marigolds, uh, the bush beans, and the other beans are being a little suffocated out. As I stated on the last video, uh, I still have not come up with an idea for that yet. Should have brought my scissors. Basil, more zinnias, another sunflower to cut down. More zinnias. love them but I would like a little bit more organization when it comes to the sun the um zinnias there's another sunflower it's coming to its end and this whole section sunflowers zinnias 
And as far as the cabbage patch is concerned, I got rid of that today. Ripped it all out. It's suffocating my rosemary. Another sunflower. So yeah, um, this has fresh compost in it from a guy from the community garden. Uh, the cabbages were in there. I only got two heads. The other ones just weren't turning. I just couldn't get ahead at all. So I'm going to flip the dirt around and plant some type of fall crop in there. Basil still. Look at the size of this tomato. It's still on there growing. This is leaning over. Still have lots of tomatoes to pick over here. This one, I'm not sure. This one has one spot that I could just cut off. It's a zebra tomato. They're everywhere. And let's see, I think we have some more. Definitely should have brought my scissors. And this is a big one as well. Let me see. It's a little hard to do this one hand. Let's see if I can pull it off. Hold on. <laughs> Got it. These are a little different for my taste because um, I know they're supposed to look like that. Uh, but that's the first time of me growing them this year. These are so impacted in here. Some of them are rotted. Not all, a few, because you can't usually see them. And this, besides it looking like a smiley face, has a little bit of bites coming through it. We'll cut it off. We'll see what happens with that. Let's keep looking and see if there's more in here. I'm forgetting the name of these. These might have been the Cherokee tomatoes. I'm trying to reach my hand in there. I think it's like an heirloom tomato. Absolutely perfect. It's a big one. Um, this one here looks pretty big. Not really sure of the condition of it. Let's see if I get it off. And we have another big tomato. So, yeah. Not too bad. They just look funny. <laughs> That's my only, uh, interpretation of these tomatoes. Do they taste good? Yeah. Um, I think I'm just so used to gardening to where the tomatoes all look the same, but I'm pretty sure these are heirlooms. And let's see about this tomato here. A little bit of cracking, but that's fine. So yeah, I have to literally uh, go into this mess. Like I said, it just keeps falling over, which makes it really hard to see the tomatoes sometimes but it's still producing as a matter of fact I don't know if you can see down there let me go around let's see I just spotted it let's see if I got it in time and I did got ourselves another one there is one on the ground and I don't like to do that because then you have seeds growing up everywhere, so that's no good. This is definitely no good. So I'll put this off. Definitely no good. And these look pretty good. Um, it's so deep in there. It was an experiment to see how close you can plant tomatoes in a very small area. I am trying. I just saw another one. And then I'll give you my opinion on what I think. Gorge. So my overall opinion of the tomatoes being planted this close together is 
yes, it's a lot of work. It's very hard to find the tomatoes. They keep top on over because they're huge. But uh, two, three, I think I had five total that I just didn't see that weren't any good. So the overall consensus is if I could stay on top of this patch over here, then probably none would rot. But it happens. You just miss a few. So that's the bushy fall tomato bed. Some zebra tomato that need to be picked. It's a lot of tomatoes to still keep preserving or salsa. These are actually very sweet and delicious. So, these are the green zebra tomatoes. Let me double check. Uh, these are, yeah, the green zebra tomatoes. That's them. But there's still lots more going on in there. So I'm just going to let it go. And um, I still have some more picking to do. This is these peach tomatoes. They, they're fuzzy. They feel like a little peach. I think they're really good. They're great in salads. So I'm not... Maybe the size I'm a little disappointed. But, um... Let me get this. But overall, I think they're very tasty. Just don't know if I would do it again. But I know everyone sees these baskets of all this produce I keep getting and this is why because there is a lot going on so yeah there's more in there but I don't want to take up the whole time just picking tomatoes and this one which has it's not about just one little mark I am going to pick this with you guys now enormous it's probably like my third or fourth big tomato so we'll put that in the pile and okay so yeah that cabbage patch is gone let's go over to these tomatoes and we will pick together more tomatoes cherry tomato some of them are getting blight but they are still producing um, I have this here because the Roma tomato is back there or Gazonzo tomato and it falls off the branch and I can't get in there because I used the cages definitely need a different system next year as far as they're concerned but look they're beautiful Let's see if I can reach in and grab it since it's starting to thin out. Hopefully it doesn't fall off the branch like it always does. Oh, got it. There we go. Got some more. Let's just keep looking in here. So I figured I'd bring you along on picking some more. Oops, I just dropped one. And that one is no good. Not sure if that's caused by tomato hornworm. No idea. So, that's the good one. Let's put that there. Um, yes, yeah, so anyway, I figured I'd bring you along to show you, or to put together, I guess I should say. Tomato paste peppers. I mean, peppers, tomatoes, um, because we have not really picked the entire season together. It's been crazy, hectic, busy. But anyway, the tomatoes are doing fine in there. They're still producing. Eggplants are fine. Um, when I say fine, that means good. Um, peppers, I did pick quite a bit. If you saw my basket, um, long hots are definitely coming in and 
Now let them go. I don't see a super long one. We have another bell pepper. I'm gonna pick this one. So yeah. And let's see. Banana peppers. Let me see if I could climb in here. Maybe I should put this down first. I have and should have brought out another bowl because I have things everywhere. Uh, let's see. I'm going to try to go in here without destroying my peppers and check for more banana peppers. Banana. I forget what these are called. I think they're the Santa Fe peppers. They're hot. So be careful. Don't be like me and think it was a banana pepper. And, uh, you know, take a nice healthy bite. I realize, wow, that is hot. So... Garden tour week nine. And I dropped one. And I want to reach this tomato down here that I just spotted. It may not be fully ripe, but it'll ripen up as it goes along. Because I have a lot of preserving to do. And let's see. More banana. Um, I do have some yellowing coming back on the leaves on the bottoms, but nothing dramatic. Peppers are doing well. I got lots on there. And time to pick cucumbers. I should have brought my scissors. Hopefully, the guy landscaping doesn't run over my tomatoes over there I might just officially have a heart attack on camera uh, let's look for some more cucumbers that's a big one looks good looks good And yet I have all that stuff on the table that I still have to deal with. It has been a very productive and busy season. I really didn't think this was going to work out this year because I did do everything by seed. And I've never done that before. There's a little one back there. So I think I may have got them. Okay. Is any a patch? And are we ready? This is the cantaloupe honeydew mixture patch. Um, I weeded it. I have to rip out the rest of the zinnias. They look like they're dying. We have one um, honeydew left on here that's not really looking that great. So I just might rip it all out because I want to use this area to plant some more things. I do have some zucchini growing, but this doesn't seem to be getting pollinated. I think this may have been in here for a while. It does have ants on it. So I don't know, what do you guys think? Keep it or pull it out and put fresh in here. And I have no idea what I'm gonna put in here yet, but it all depends on my seedlings and how they do. And the transplant it, transplant it, let's try speaking English. Um, sunflowers are alive. Look at how beautiful that is. And they were transplants doing quite well. Just love some cherry tomatoes. So yeah, I think it was a pretty big haul. The garden is still pretty active. And um, so have I. And then I saw the landscapers today. I asked them to straighten out my line a little bit because it was a little crooked and a little OCD. And this head will be probably next to come down. It's huge. And the cucumber vine is going around the corn. Let's see if I can get you in here so you can see this. So yeah. Another baby cucumber right there. 
Let me zoom in for you. Oh, right there. And I just dropped something. I'm not sure what it was. Maybe a cherry tomato. But yeah, so the cucumber plant is vining all over the corn. So now I'm definitely going to leave it. And I have a backup seed in there. Plus I'm growing more cucumbers. So I was thinking maybe cucumbers in here or zucchinis. But this is it, guys. A lot of work. Very blessed to have a lot of pickings going on. Which now I have more. <laughs> and uh, need an idea. What do you think? Spinach, because it likes the cold weather? Or lettuce in here? I'm leaning towards spinach and kale. Maybe a full row of, or two rows of spinach and two rows of kale is probably what I'm going to do with that. And let me show you something else. Uh, oh, this is the cabbage leaves. That are not going to waste it's a whole big pile it's going for my bunnies so yeah this is what it looks like there's still more in there to pick but that's okay and this is a chocolate sunflower that has multiple heads which is the kind that I love look at that beautiful and then the big one that was here was just cut out and the trunk is so big that you can't get it all the way out so my friend said wait till your tomatoes are done and I'll get it out for you but if you look in there there's a lot of green tomatoes still going on but let me go up here so I can show you yes and I did tell you about the rabbit manure I'm gonna put that in certain places um, to help the garden a little bit for fall so let me show you, I've been posting this on Instagram yesterday, and see if you can see that, praying mantis, he literally has made his rounds around the whole sunflower, he slept up there last night, and he is one smart dude because he is getting all the flies and things of that nature that fly up there. So yeah, that is, I guess you could say my last big one. It's hanging over and I can see that from the living room. So yeah, everything is looking good. Tabasco plant is finally producing some Tabasco. Um, where'd it go? All right, where'd it go? There, Tabasco, finally growing. A little in shock about my parsley. <laughs> uh, other than that, and I have to dehydrate lots of chives, but uh, yeah, is that not beautiful? So this is garden tour week uh, nine. Everything is still going. Some things look a little different. Here's more herbs. Let me zoom out. Um, I'm just sort of going to let that go for a bit and start working on the pineapple sage, the rest of the basil, uh, the lemon balm, and some of the parsley. I'm wondering if I cut this to dehydrate it, if it will come back if I leave the stems. But here is something that I did I wanted to show you is I picked a big bushel of parsley and I did dehydrate it and I put it in a glass with water for it to get some roots and I have green leaves already so I am going to leave that right there and hopefully get some more parsley really don't know if I'm going to dehydrate more mint because I have a lot but we'll see I'll figure out something else to do with it because I really love it in my tea and I think when you add it into your tea, when it's dry, like your iced tea, I think it tastes really not as good. So this is everything that's going on, guys. The Swiss chard, I'm going to cut it because I want to see cut and grow. I might plant some more of that as well. And I have all this to deal with. So it's a lot. 
and I did take a picture yesterday. It's bigger than my head. <laughs> so, yeah, lots to do, guys. There's um, Thai peppers in here, uh, jalapeno peppers, all sorts of tomatoes. Oops, I think this one doesn't want to stay, so I'm going to eat it. Um, let me see if I can get it out. Gorgeous eggplants. I have one, two, three. This is an odd eggplant. It's not soggy. It's firm. And it's just this color. So, I'm going to chop it up. This is the butternut squash. Mmm. That tomato is so good. Some long hots. All different types are in this basket. Um, yeah. So, that's a lot of yumminess going on that I have to deal with. And, yeah. I figured I'd hop on and do garden tour week nine. Almost at week ten, guys. Almost. And then um, it'll be time. I'm not going to go hog wild crazy for fall because I feel like it's just been a lot of work. I've done all this myself. So I am. Oh, yeah, and I picked some rosemary. I am probably going to go on the easier side for fall planting. Radishes, spinach, lettuce. I have my carrot bed across the street. And um, what else is in there? It's either parsnips. Yeah, I think it's parsnips are in that bed. So I do have that going. But I don't think I'm going to go super duper crazy. Um, like I said, radishes, carrots, parsnips. Mm, what else do I plant? I did plant cauliflower, broccoli. The seedlings came up, died instantly, so I just replanted. Um, I did a bunch of different varieties of lettuce and um, things of that nature. How beautiful is this nasturtium? Does anybody know? Does nasturtium come back every year? If you know the answer to that question, leave a comment below. But that is what's going on, guys. Busy, 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 busy. And, um, yeah. Like I said, the garden is still producing quite a bit. I'm trying to stay on top of it. As you can see, I missed a couple tomatoes in the crazy tomato garden, which is what I'll call it. And, um, as you can see, I'm letting these go brown and turn them into seeds. So... Garden Tour Week 10, busy day today, um, I canned some more, and now I have to deal with all this. I roasted some, I just got my oven, um, like I said, it was down for the summer, so I got a brand new one. I just roasted some tomatoes uh, on a cookie sheet, little kosher salt, tiny bit of olive oil, and I'm going to dump that in a pot and make some more gravy, that's what I was thinking. And these, I mean, I do have seeds, which, as a matter of fact, I will show you my dogs. This is what I did. Welcome to my living room. I am saving my sunflower seeds from the giant ones, the giant nobles, in this, which almost also makes a great fall decoration. Yeah, I'm a little decorated for fall already. This is the marigolds in olive oil. It has to sit for a few weeks. Uh, this I wanted to get some more. And I may or may not cover it with olive oil. We shall see. And this is a little one that I'm going to cover with olive oil. I think um, you put a powdered beeswax um, in the mixture. And you can turn it into like lip balm or whatnot. But I think I want to use it more as a salve. Meaning you fill the jar up with marigolds. You uh, cover it with olive oil. You let it sit three to four weeks. In a place where it can get some light. Which my door is right there. And then you strain the marigolds off. And um, I'm going to use the oil. That's what I think I'm going to do. But yeah, so the big sunflower that's outside, um, I may fill up one more jar. And then I think I might do some roasted 
uh, sunflower seeds and when I do that I will let you guys know and it's probably a mess so you'll have to excuse but this is my brand new oven and range that came in everywhere you go there's like oh I dried these out these are chili peppers and um, yeah but everywhere you go there's no produce but this is the range Love it. Looks good. So I'm going to be doing lots of baking videos and food videos. This is the dehydrator. I wanted to show you this right there. I think it's a factory defect with the machine that it actually melted it. So it doesn't close all the way. But I still love it. I just would like to have that replaced. And... Uh, I can't stand when my ice maker light is on, so I fix it. And this is where I keep all my bacon stuff, but I'll give you a full grand tour of my place. Um, but yeah, I wanted to point out that that melted. It's crazy. So yeah, hopefully Amazon gets back to us and um, we can have that problem resolved. I am letting this dry so I can save the seeds. But yeah, everything looks good, guys. Again, thank you so much for joining me on Garden Tour Week 9. I have to go out and pick up my produce off of the lawn and try to fit it over there somewhere. And um, I bless you. I hope your garden is still producing or you're probably 10 steps ahead and have your fall gardens all going in but thanks guys for joining me today um, I just wanted to give you the tour let you know what's going on and show you this abundant harvest which is a lot all right guys um, any comments uh, any questions please leave them down below hit the subscribe button Pass me along. I'm still working on a camera. I don't even want to talk about that anymore. <laughs> um, yeah, so hit the the um, subscribe button. Smash the like bell. And until next time, I will see you guys soon. Okay, guys, because you're probably going to hear my dogs freaking out because another dog is coming. So next week will be Garden Tour 10. And I am very much looking forward to it. Again, like I said any comments leave them down below um subscribe smash that like button and i will see you guys next week for garden tour 10. god bless thank you guys love yous for tagging along and i will see you soon